hello and welcome to Whatever Wednesday. I'm your host, Shoeless Joe, and today I just want to talk with you guys about how I'm doing sort of with my daily habits and my struggles, sort of addictions that I've been trying to break. Let's start off with the good news, shall we? Uh, so, I, if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you may or may not have heard me mention my love, obsession, addiction uh, to Dr. Pepper. Pop in general, what just happened? Pop in general, but especially especially that Dr. Pepper. I just, I never seemed to be able to get enough of it. Well, I feel like I'm free of it, at least for now. I, how, I tried so many things. I tried so many things. Getting people to help me, keep me accountable. Uh, I don't know, marking up the last can and celebrating. And I just, it, I always kept coming back for one reason or another. So, what finally, at least for right now, has helped me is, and I never would have seen this coming, um, allowing myself to drink Dr. Pepper. And that may sound crazy and counterintuitive. That's because it is. But somehow it's worked. In the past, I always said, okay, this is my last Dr. Pepper. Or for this amount of time, I'm not going to drink any Dr. Pepper. And every time I did that, I ended up failing. So what I did this time, and it wasn't even specifically um, me trying to stop drinking Dr. Pepper. Um, and it's that I just, just didn't try to stop. What I actually did is I started exercising. <laughs> I had, a, had, I sort of still have, why do you keep lagging like that? Stop it. I had a, um, a daily exercise routine that I was doing and it felt good. I would get up butt crack of dawn before the sun even came up and I would work out and it would feel so good. And one day when I did that, I worked out in the morning and then at lunch I had actually a Coke and it was sitting there in front of me and I just, I don't know. Aaron was like, are you going to drink that? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm actually, and the the whole process was, it just didn't feel right to drink it. After working hard to work out, why would I ruin my body with this Coca-Cola? So I never told myself not to. I just didn't drink it. And that just continued. I just kept not drinking pop. Then I uh, recently started doing this thing where I don't intake any extra sugar, any sugary drinks, any drinks but water, really, um, or any sugary foods except on Sundays. I gave myself Sundays a cheat day for sugar. And I never really told myself pop wasn't allowed there um, or Dr. Pepper or anything. I just kind of allowed myself to drink Dr. Pepper, I guess, on Sundays with all the other sugary stuff. But I haven't done it because I just think, you know, I already went a full week, wasn't one week more. So I just haven't been doing it. So for me, it actually works best to not try to stop drinking Dr. Pepper. And now I'm just not drinking it. And it feels really great. And now I understand what it, people mean when they say, like, you're never a recovered alcoholic. You're always a recovering alcoholic. I feel like I always will have that pull of Dr. Pepper every time I see one. I kind of want it a little, and I have to make that choice every time not to. So it's definitely uh, been a lesson there in self-control, which is something that I often lack. So success on the Dr. Pepper front. Um, th the other thing that I've struggled with uh, is watching YouTube videos. Uh, and I watch YouTube a lot, or even if I'm not watching it a lot, I'm always checking it. You know, make sure anyone, uh, anyone I subscribe to put up a new video or, um, you know, that stinking like watch page, like what you should watch suggestions that gets me every time too. I just, uh, I love watching YouTube and I want to watch less of it. I think, I don't know. It's weird. It's, it's just weird because I don't, YouTube isn't inherently bad. Obviously watching videos, there's nothing wrong with it, but it gets to a point where it's like everything within reason, right? anything to excess is kind of bad and I feel like I have excess and I haven't really found uh, a good way to curtail it yet. I thought maybe using um, the cheat date method would work like I have been with uh, sugar um, but that hasn't worked. There's not really a good day for me to watch videos. I spend my weekends with my family uh, because I've been working all week and I don't know there's just not really a good time that I can set aside to like catch up on all the videos of the week or whatever. And I've tried saying, as you may be aware, I tried going all of uh, the rest of August and all of September without watching videos. And I failed. I failed miserably at that. I don't know. I've also, numerous times I've gone in and sort of cut out all of my subscriptions. I thought, okay, I'm going to erase all my subscriptions. I'm just going to subscribe. I would limit myself. Okay, 20 subscriptions, 10 subscriptions. I'll just, you know, it doesn't work. 
I just, I'm bad at it. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm lacking, there's always like a key component missing, you know, whenever you're trying to change your habit. And it might be my triggers, uh, the things that trigger me uh, to watch videos equal um, opening up my phone, opening up my computer. And to be honest, I would love, L-O-V-E, love to live without my phone or computer. I, I would just love it, especially my computer. Like the phone, okay, I talk to you guys with my phone. I use my GPS on my phone. I would love to just not have to have a laptop, but for work, I do, and I use them um, a lot. And whenever I'm stuck on what I'm doing at work or just bored on what I'm working on when I'm prepping for a class or something like that, what do I do? I turn to YouTube. When I'm at um, a work site, when I'm somewhere teaching them a class and I have an hour lunch break, uh, what do I do? I watch YouTube. And I don't write as much, nearly as much as I want to. I want to start writing more. Um, I should be praying more. I want to be reading more books. So there's things I want to be doing. So maybe what it is I need to do is switch out um, my trigger there with a book or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, fig I'm I'm in process. The thing is, though, because I've finally conquered Dr. Pepper after literally years of the struggle, um, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that eventually I will find... Um, a happy medium or find what it is I want with YouTube. Do I want to stop watching videos? I don't want to. Do I need to? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm just letting you, I'm just giving you guys an update just because I know I've talked about it in the past. So I just want you guys to be aware of where I am with that. So Dr. Pepper, we can check that off the list. Of course, I'm still recovering. So there's always a chance that I might um, give in there. But as for now, we can check that off the list. YouTube, mm, still working on it. I'm still, it's still in process. And I thought almost, well, since I failed this September, maybe I should go all of October without watching videos. And then I realized, why would I try to do something that failed once unless I'm going to make a change to it? So I'm going to, I don't know, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. So uh, we will chat later. So you pray for me, I'll pray for you. That's a good way to do it, right? I think so. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Um, and we will, uh, I will let you know if I have any further updates, how I'm doing sort of with the whole YouTube thing. But as of now, I'm still watching it. Still probably more than I'd like to. I don't know. I don't know. So, you know what? Let me know if, you, if you've if you done something like this, uh, tried to cut out how many videos you watched. Let me know how you did that. Maybe I can pick up some tips uh, there for you. Um, other than that, have a wonderful and blessed day. I, we will talk about our whateverness next Wednesday. I love you. Bye.